Welcome back friends. Today I'm really excited. We're going to be making some red beans and rice. Getting back into those southern mills. Let's dive into it. Alright, you know we normally go over ingredients, but we're just going to just cook this like I normally would. So we're going to start off by uh, cutting up our andouille sausage. I've got like a 14 ounce, 14 ounce to 16 ounce uh, package of smoked andouille sausage will work just fine. I'm gonna cut these at a pretty big bias. And you can really cut your andouille however you would like to. Being an Alabama boy, I thought about using Koneka, but. Okay, now that our sausage is cut up, should have did this a while ago because it's gonna take forever. But I've got my big Dutch oven over here. You can kind of use whatever big pot or pan that you have. So this is gonna take just a second because I didn't plan. So bear with me. Okay, I guess while we wait for that to, to warm up, we can cut up some of our vegetables and already have that ready. Greasy hands. Okay, I'm gonna start with my pepper. So we're gonna do about two, we're gonna do about two bell peppers. There's really a lot of freedom on how much texture you add into this dish based off of this uh, traditional red beans and rice. The vegetables almost kind of disappear into the dish. There's a lot of people who like a chunky one, have a little bit more texture to it. So, choice is yours. Okay, so now we're gonna brown these guys. We're gonna keep working on our veg while that gets to what it needs to be. We got a red bell pepper now. Okay, now on the celery stock, kind of same thing. We're just looking for whatever size you choose. Just kind of stick with that. This is kind of what we're trying to get. Just a little bit of browning. It's just gonna bring so much more flavor to the dish. I'm gonna remove these and try to leave as much of the rendered fat down on the bottom. We're gonna use that to cook our vegetables in. Okay, now time for the onion. So a few fun facts about this dish while I work on icing this onion up. This dish was normally eaten on Monday. Uh, it's kind of the traditional laundry day. And so you didn't want to spend a lot of time actually having to cook. And the, the meat, even though we put in dewy sausage in it, that was generally not part of it. We have this ham hock here and it was more traditionally some type of smoked meat left over from Sunday, you know, like kind of big dinner. This onion's a lot bigger than I thought it was. We're gonna go with that. I normally use smaller onions, and I thought I was gonna get away with using a bigger one here, but I'll take this. We're good again on the temperature, so I'm gonna add in our little holy trinity here. Okay, so that's just gonna cook for a couple of minutes just until they're a little translucent. Translucent. So I got like four or five cloves of garlic here. You can go as much or as little garlic as you want. Um, I just like garlic. These look pretty good to me. You can see they're starting to, to get pale in color. The aromas are really, really strong. So I'm gonna go in with all my garlic. So we're just gonna cook this until it becomes fragrant. Just a few seconds. While it does its thing, we can talk about some of the spices that we're gonna put in here. Garlic fingers. 
Uh, so we've got some thyme, some oregano, about a teaspoon of each, uh, about a teaspoon of paprika, then a half a teaspoon of cayenne. And you can really go any direction that you would like with this. I do know we need some salt and pepper in there too. I'm gonna put it with some salt. Some pep. Okay, we're gonna go in with our spices and go ahead and let them bloom a little bit. Y'all roasted me on my chili recipe for not doing that. So now I've got one pound of dried kidney beans that I've soaked overnight and then rinsed off. We're gonna go in there with these. And I've got some chicken stock that's kind of left over from some that I made earlier this week. And so I'm gonna go in with that. I've got some water. And so traditionally you would not see any stock used in this dish. You know, most Southern food is kind of uh, blue collar. And so during the time that where this recipe was really used a lot, you just didn't have a lot of stock. And so you would use water. So feel free to use water. I just feel like the stock, I had it here, it's gonna add so much more uh, flavor to it. Uh, so now we're gonna go in with our, with our ham hock. This is kind of our leftover from Sunday. We're gonna go in with our sausage. So I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then we're gonna let this cook for probably two, two and a half hours. You can really kind of, you're gonna have to taste your bean to make sure that the beans have the texture that you like it. Then when we get to that point, I'll show you a little trick to make it a little bit creamier. I know I'm gonna need some more liquid uh, than what's currently in here, but I'll add that as I kind of go along. So we'll see you back in a couple hours. Okay, so it's been about two hours, uh, about 15, 20 minutes before this finished. I started some rice off camera. So this right here is, is, is technically done. Um, it's kind of more of a soupy uh, kind of texture, but we're gonna make it a little bit creamier and you can use this technique to make it as creamy as you like. And I'm just gonna use a, uh, a potato masher. I'm just gonna mash a section of these beans. They'll release their starches. We'll mix it all back in. And I'll get all the meat off of this a little bit later. Let's plate some up and see how she tastes. So excited, excited about this. Um, this is one of my favorite dishes. Oh man, the smokiness that comes from that pork knuckle, and the smoked and dewy sausage is just, you, know, you can't really beat it. There's a decent amount of heat to it, which I really like in this dish. There's like this beautiful creamy texture, but uh, I didn't stir it very often, and so we have a bunch of intact whole beans, so you get like that nice bite to it. Pardon me while I just sit here and finish everything. This is just such a lovely dish. You know, it being a laundry day dish, you know, it only takes you about 15, 20 minutes to, to actually assemble everything. There's not a lot of dishes to be made with this, and the flavor is amazing. This cooks up a, a, a pretty big recipe, so you can definitely cut this in half if it's a smaller smaller family. Well, I wanna thank you for stopping by today. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.